Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Marty McFly and I'm coming to you guys with yet another video for today. So for today guys, I'm coming to you guys with another dub by Adidas. Well, not specifically in the confirmed app, but it was by an unlikely source that I wouldn't have never expected to get the dub from. But you know, this is why guys, you gotta go for every raffle and this is why I would encourage you guys that every time you want a shoe that you really want, do not put all your eggs in one basket. So for today, the dub that I got for today, as you guys can see by the title, is on the Yeezy Foam Runners, which specifically is on the, the Moons. I forgot what they're called. It's going to be in the title, but <clears throat> let's just get straight into it. So, bam, guys, for today, we are going to be reviewing or, you know, more of my thoughts and opinions on the new Foam Yeezy Runners. And so, the way that this one, like I said, I got a dub on these is that I actually uh, hit on SNS. And for you guys that don't know, I believe that this is a store that is out in the UK, I believe. Guys, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I always forget where this uh, uh, store is actually located. But I actually entered a raffle with them. You know, I'm kind of forgetting about it. Um, entering from my size 12 because in the Yeezy Foam Runners. Uh, disclaimer, by the way, let me just say right now before we continue. For those that actually want to purchase these on the resale market, if you're not able to hit for retail, what I will tell you is that... If you're a half size, because they don't make these in half sizes, if you're a half size, like a 10 and a half, 11 and a half, like myself, I'm an 11 and a half or 11, but mostly 11, 11 and a half, I would say go up, go up a size, a half size. So if you're a, a 10 and a half, don't go to a 10. You know, even if you're trying to say like, oh, but you know, the, uh, the better price, I have a better price for the 10 versus the 11. I would still say, man, go to the 11, you know, even if you have to pay a little more because these do run pretty tight right here in the in the toe area which is a little bit narrow even though the shoe may look a little bulky in camera which you know it kind of does i would say that guys still go with the size up the half size up so like if you're not half go to a 10 if you're 10 i'll go to 11 me like myself 11 i'll go to a 12 which i did get on these which by the way thank god uh but yeah so that's a disclaimer so let's just get right into it guys as you guys can see this is actually where you guys are gonna be able to see the actual side sticker, which is inside, which is the actual sticker is, they don't have like nowhere inside the shoe, like an actual tag, which obviously for obvious reasons, it wouldn't be comfortable if the tag, if there was a tag just dangling while your foot is in there. But so this is the first time that I actually hit on a foam runner for retail. And guys, to, to say that I was ecstatic is, is an understatement. When I actually got a confirmation email from SNS, which is sneakers and stuff, by the way. I, I don't think I mentioned it before. They let me know a couple of days after the release, actually. So they kind of confirmed the, the my W like uh, uh, like after the weekend. It wasn't on Saturday when they actually came out, which by the way was pure madness. Um, And yeah, like, or I forgot what day it was. I don't think it was Saturday, I think it was Monday. I forgot what day it was, but but yeah, guys, I actually got these a couple days at, confirmed after the drop, which why it was such a surprise to me because they didn't actually, um, they didn't let me know actually on the re on the actual day of release. They actually know a couple days later. So I guess the way to do it is that they actually wait a couple days before letting you know if you want or not. So this is the 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 right shoe, and then here goes the left shoe. So let me just give you guys a glimpse of the left shoe, which they do actually come with a tag, just like every Yeezy. You guys can see there, I'm, I'm going to see, as you guys can see there, they do show you in the label what exactly is that you purchased, which is the foam runner. And they just go and tell you the size and everything. And they do come with that string again um, that Yeezy brand has been doing for a while now. So here goes the, the left shoe, which looks dope, which is dope. I'm actually glad that, that I got a dub on this one because I actually did try to hit for the sand pair, which I actually wanted more than these to be real with you because they were more simpler. But getting these in hand, I actually would say that I'm so happy that I actually got a dub on this one instead of the, the, the sand. So I'm, I'm actually happy that I got a dub on these instead of the sands because these actually are very unique. Like if you actually look at the patterns, like none of it is like uniform. Like you could tell that the way that they, pro they made these like during the process, like the way they injected the, the foams together, you can tell that they definitely, you know, like the process, they just let it, like they let it go as it as it goes. And I don't know, I, I feel like my pair came like with a nice swirly like look, even here in the front, you can see there's some swirls in it. This one doesn't have it. Like you can see like this one is more, has more swirls inside the, 
the crevices uh, like this one this one only has it goes up to this side but yeah man I'm glad that I was able to get the dub man I just feel like Adidas have been showing me more love this year than Nike and Jordan which is crazy but I'm glad to have been able to cop a pair for retail now as far as me keeping these I'm not sure yet if I'm going to I might flip I think I'm most likely gonna flip these to be real with you guys they're dope but I just don't see myself like wanting to wear these enough you know like this is a pair of shoes that is definitely for someone that's gonna want to wear them every day and I just can't see myself wearing these every day like I'm more of a guy that I like to wear like like bands and stuff like that every day uh, aside from my Jordans and other Adidas and you know of course Yeezys but these are dope man like I'm actually glad that I got a dub on these but yeah guys let me know how you guys uh, like these uh, before I let you guys go though I do want to show you the box for I got to show you that in the beginning it is such a plain box in the outside when I first got these I'm not gonna lie I was underwhelmed with the box I know there's I know it's just a box but you think that Yeezy brand it would give you something crazy but I actually love the inside which is crazy um, you guys are probably seeing it by now but inside you see that it says foam and then runner and then the size it was actually inside where you place the shoes so that's the box right there and they do come individually wrapped um, when you get them in so I, I guess that's cool but it's just a box so you know you guys don't really care about that which I understand but yeah guys so this is, has been the review on the Yeezy foam runners and not gonna lie man the, the the hype is real on these i i think if you're able to cop these for for retail it is definitely worth the buy they are definitely comfortable but you definitely have a breaking period uh, with these especially if you have a wide foot um but they're definitely worth the buy if you can get them for retail for resale i wouldn't recommend it because at the end of the day guys it's just a foam shoe like this is just something that's made out of eva which a lot of shoes contain and it's not really an expensive material you know um that goes on a shoe but I think what's more costly for these shoes is the process of making them more than anything. But yeah, and I believe that they contain algae as well. And oh, and one last thing before I let you guys go. I'm sorry, I'm running over this time limit. But these are actually made from China. It says you're made in China. I don't think you guys will be able to see, but it's in there. I promise it's there. And so the sand pair and then the, the first one, the Ararats, I forgot what they're called those were actually made in the usa so i guess the process to make these this specific colorway i guess like the mold to mold both colors of the of the foams i guess they had they needed like a like manufacturer in china so these are from all the foam runners that have come out this is the only one that has actually released i mean has been made in china all the other two have been made in usa so who knows maybe to be able to pump out different colorways they're gonna have to use china factories to get this type of look done so I would expect that the new ones that are coming out that are kind of black with that navy blue, the mineral pair, I'm pretty sure those are going to be made in China as well because if you look closely, it looks like they're mixed with black and, and, um, and navy blue. Well, that being said, guys, I thank you so much for watching my video. Sorry that it took so long, but I just wanted to share with you guys my W of the foam runners. And I want to thank you so much for tuning in. For all the people that have been subscribing and supporting and commenting on down in the section, thank you so much. Again, this has been Marty McFly. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Be blessed. Peace.